Hello again. We've got another absolute value, but this is a combination with a quadratic. Well, maybe not quadratic yet, but we want to show a combination question because level three of this module has a bunch of different combinations and let's look at solving it. Then we'll talk more about it after. So what do we got? Absolute value of x squared minus 5x plus 2 and that's equal to 4. Great. So I want to get rid of the absolute value. As always, I get plus or minus on the other side. x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals plus or minus 4. Great. Two possible solutions. So we can look at the x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals 4. Great. Well, I already got the cat out of the bag, but if I bring the 4 over, I get a quadratic equation. x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. And if I look at that, I hope I can factor it, but I can't. So what do I got to do? Well, I go back to that module if I need a refresher, and I remember I've got that good old quadratic equation. Good old minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, again, go back to that module if you can't remember the formula or just Google quadratic equation, come right up. So, in this case, we do minus b, which is minus minus 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so minus 5 squared, minus 4 times a, which in our case is 1, times c, which is minus 2. And that entire top part divided by 2 times a, which in our case is 1. So we get 5 plus or minus square root of 25 plus 8 all over 2, or 5 plus or minus the square root of 33 all over 2. And we go to our trusty calculator find that the square root of 33 is 5.74. Let's get that back again. There we go. Lost it. So we have 5. Again, this becomes two viable solutions. And let's switch colors to help start clarifying us a bit. Because we got 5 plus or minus 5.7. I'm just going to round off to the second decimal for now. Get an approximate answer, but it'll be good enough for our purposes because that's divided by 2. Great. Well, basically we get two answers. One that adds, so we get 10.74 divided by 2, or in other words, 5.37, or we get minus, so we get point zero. 0.74. Let's make that was going to be a 5 into a 4. Ah, let's just erase it. 0 0.74 divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.37. So this part itself had two solutions. Okay, now let's consider the other case. We've got x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals minus 4 now. Great. x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. And this time we look, and thankfully this is factorable. So again, if you're unsure, go back to the quadratics module, because what we can write this as is x minus 3 and x minus 2 equals 0. And thus, once again, we have to evaluate both of these brackets. Remember, one, if either of these brackets are equal to zero, the entire thing must be zero, because zero times anything is zero. So we get x minus 3 equals zero, or x equals 3. And then this one's going to lead to x minus 2 equals zero, or x equals 2. So this time, we actually ended up with four possible answers. Each of these possibilities itself was evaluated. I mean, think about that. We just ended up taking what was almost a quadratic, we put an absolute value bar around it, but it didn't really change anything. We just went back to the same quadratic equations or quadratic equation or factoring that we used before. We just ended up with two possible cases. And you're going to see a lot of these combo questions in the level three. That's really what we end up doing. 
the same kind of questions we were before, but we have a plus or minus, so we end up two possible solutions that we solve the same way we were doing in the previous modules. So give it a try, and thank you for watching.